you want to be extra rigorous about making the best possible thing you can. Find everything that's wrong with it and fix it. Seek negative feedback, particularly from friends. The path to the CEO's office should not be through the CFO's office, and it should not be through the marketing department. It needs to be through engineering and design. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is a disaster. It's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to that basket. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. If something is important enough, even if the odds are against you, you should still do it. The first step is to establish that something is possible. Then probability will occur. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. When something is important enough, you don't even if the odds are not in your favor. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've had only, and how you could be doing it better. You shouldn't do things differently just because they're different. They need to be better. The path to the future is going to be one where there's high-speed transportation between cities, and then within cities themselves. Where you've got an autonomous vehicle fleet, I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Goodbye.